Hello and welcome. Today we're taking a look at Generals and Rulers. This is a, a lightweight strategy game being developed by Hamsters Gaming. Same folks that made Evil Bank Manager, who's also sponsoring this video. Thank you very much. Basically the idea here is, think of it as like a casual grand strategy game. We'll be taking control of a country. There's a lot of different countries we can pick from here. And we'll be raising an army, uh, doing some research, doing some diplomacy, and kind of doing a bit of strategy and, and planning, but most of the game is done kind of behind the scenes. A little more lightweight and casual is sort of the idea here. Uh, I guess the, uh, the description in, in Steam says they are looking for uh, avoiding the boring actions and grind of your typical grand strategy game. Anyway, let's check it out and see what it's all about. We can do multiplayer here. We're going to stick in with single player game, of course. Uh, right now we've got uh, Europe or Asia 1207 that we can play. There's also a world one in here as well. 1207 is the year that the Mongols sort of started to uh, stir. So let's uh, let's pick Europe here and see what we have here. Now we'll choose a country. There's a lot to pick from, uh, and we'll uh, we'll have cash and, and population. We'll see all that in just a second. But let's pick our country first. So there's a whole bunch here to pick from. They're they're, uh, they're all here. So uh, there's Hungary in there. I th well, there's Poland is pretty powerful. Of course the um, Holy Roman Empire is is the powerhouse here. We got France in there. I think we're gonna go with um, let's grab England. Let's see if we can do some sort of uh, conquer the continent kind of thing here today. All right, let's try this out. As soon as it loads here, there we go. All right, so uh, we are up here in England. We have a little bit down this way, of course. Uh, so what we're looking at here is we got some gold. We have population. Gold is basically just money we get to spend on troops or science. There's two different things we can do with this. Uh, we have population, of course, with people living in our territories. Number of regions we, we control, we can see all that here. Um, units is how big my army is. Research points, we'll see that in a second. And rebels, we hopefully won't see that in a second. Uh, at the old headquarters, we can see um, we have an army right now of almost 2,000 infantry, almost 2,000 archers, and almost 2,000 cavalry in our, uh, in our company. So we can use that to go attack anyone or whatever we want to do. Defend Right now they're defending our borders. We can see we get a few folks around here, like Scotland. We, we have peace with Scotland. They got three stars. That's sort of the rank, the level of, of peace we have with these guys. Um, we have just a truce with France. And, uh, well, we can see that right in here. We can see our neighbors. We can line them up this way. How many regions they control. How big they are. Uh, how, how steady our peace is. We can do some negotiations here and see if we can make it a little better. Now, rather than going in and, and I guess, I guess grindy or whatever uh, style of diplomacy. We come in, let's go to, let's chat with the Holy Roman Empire. They're massive, we don't want to fight them, so let's go to negotiations. All we really do here is we can spend some money that will upgrade or downgrade our uh, relations with them. The higher it goes, the more we get each turn in trade. So let's say, you know what, I would like to work our way up to a union with the Holy Roman Empire. That sounds like an idea, so let's go ahead and negotiate our way up. Cost a thousand bucks, but we're going to be getting more money from trade as time goes on. See, there's trade money, there's resident money from taxes and things. Uh, so that's sort of how diplomacy works. It's not really much to it. If we want to fight someone, we got to go in here and we got to sort of work our way down. Let's fight. I mean, Wales is pretty tiny, aren't they? And they're also sort of, you know, they're sort of in the way. This should belong to me, I would think. Um, can we stomp Wales, you think? Wales, they don't have any many units. Yeah, we could probably stomp Wales. So let's go into diplomacy and work our way, negotiating our way down to war with Wales. So we're going to slowly, each turn, you can only do one notch per turn, work our way down to hating whales so we can go fight them. Now, as for the army building, let's do that. So we saw what we have before in our, in our, uh, our defensive, defensive line. This, here they are right here. If we want to hire more of them, we can see what all of them they do. Uh, attack, defense. They all attack differently depending on who they fight. Like archers are very good at killing militiamen. Um, reinforcements are very good at defending, I think. Um, we'll get mar marchmen and forts as we get some new tech, which we haven't got there yet. Um, I say, no, we can recruit, which takes people from our population, or we can just hire mercenaries, which are more expensive, but, you know, they don't take people from population. We'll just get some mercenaries for right now. Um, let's bring in, how much are those compared to, you know, let's, let's buy some trebuchets. It's still going to cost some people. Um, how many is that? That's 760 trebuchets. That's a lot of trebuchets. Let's hire those. And we'll bring in, oh, we have zero ships. We'll bring in a few ships. How about nine ships? Just to have some ships around, you know. Uh, and then we're going to get the rest in, I think, archers. We're, we're England. We have to have good archers. Spending all my money on archers. Not quite all my money. Most of my army. 1,400 archers have been hired now. Okay. 
So now let's go back and look at research. Research works with research points, kind of similar to cash, really. But the number of scientists you have give you research points. So let's say we want to hire 10 more scientists. We can do that. We can hire them up, and it gives us more research per turn. We use that to make our things better. Like, say we want to increase the profit of each resident. Sure, let's do that. Let's do that by five. Let's get some more money in here. We can also go increase the population cap or growth. Let's do some of that. 0.25. Sure. Um, we can maybe hire some spies. I'll hire a couple spies. Let's go and teach our... Um, we are England, I guess, so our seaborne assault is really good. I'm assuming that's why that's so high all of a sudden. Uh, let's get our infantrymen better. We can go up to 99 with this. Let's Yeah, let's put some points into that and into our archers. Archers, of course, is going to be our thing. So let's crank it up to level 30 archers. Um, we're also going to go and... I'm going to increase the trade income. And I think it's just general overall... Oh, research cost. I should have got that one first. Lowers the cost of research. Yeah, I should have done that one first. But anyway, we'll get that one out of the way. And more taxes. And cavalry. Uh, sure, militia also. Okay, so there's all research points spent. Each turn we'll get more of those, though, we can so we can buy more research and hopefully rank up our folks. Um, one last thing we can do, though, is we can do some spying. So let's go to Wales here and send a spy. So we can see just kind of how good they are at certain things. Um, let's go back into recon. So we have a spy at Wales. We can send in... I'm not quite sure what the difference between espionage and recon. Let's, let's go send in the espionage first. So we know they have... 800 infantry, 400 trebuchets, and a few ships. I think we can go in and do... We can. Oh, I can't afford it now. Um, we'll see what es Recon... I think Recon is just a, a better version of Espionage. And it'll unlock, like, it'll. we'll see actually how many ships they have. Which we don't care about. So they're pretty weak. So if all goes well, maybe we can win this. Let's go ahead and uh, spin our turn. So in Headquarters, I'll show all this off when we get into a proper battle. But let's spin our turn here. So we get news of the world, or of England. Let me show, I'll show off the rest of the map here in a minute. Um, England and the HR Holy Roman, Holy Roman Empire. We're now going up. They like each other, right? And England and Wales has gone down because we hate each other. We want to kill them. Here's the whole map. This is all of England. The the, uh, the world map, of course, is the whole world. Um, lots of things happen on the world map. I was playing around with that one earlier. Um, let's see. There was an update, though, that happened overnight to where you can't play the world map until you finish this one now. <laughs> So, anyway, you can see Wales is down to uh, two stars now. And so we're slowly working our way down to uh, to hatred, I think is the word. Uh, let's go look at... Let's go do some uh, re recon with them. Oh, now we can see everything. So we can see they got got 1,000 infantry, only 100 archers. Uh, and some trebuchets. So what is good at killing infantry is the question. That's probably the thing we should be hiring. So killing infantry is... Mm, everyone's mediocre at it. No one's really any better at killing infantry than anyone else. So, uh, we can just hire some infantry. I guess infantry, kill infantry, just fine. Let's do that. So, we're going to take from the population this time. We're going to just fill up with infantry. 100,000 bucks. There we go. We got 4,000 infantry now. Okay, next turn. And we'll see this will slowly go down. We are now we now have a union with the Holy Roman Empire, and we're now doing a truce now with, uh, with Wales. So, basically, all this is doing for us with being a union, means we get a lot of money out of them. They love us, we get a lot of money. So there's not really any sort of d negotiations here, it just sort of slowly works its way in there. We really don't like France either. Let's take a, let's send a spy over here to France and see what they've got. What that say? That's saying they're number two in units, so they're pretty powerful. So we should probably, you know, play nice with France. Let's just do this espionage. Um, it's not a, not a ton, they have 4,000 trebuchets though. So we won't make them angry. Um, Spend our 100 grand we get every turn. And let's get some more mercenaries. Let's just bring in some militiamen just to pad the numbers. There we go. We got 6,000 militiamen coming in here. Uh, spend our research, of course. And I couldn't upgrade our archers or... Let's upgrade the infantry. That's what they have a lot of. So let's make sure we get some points there. And... Unit cost. Oh, yeah. Get that one, too. There we go. Okay. So now we have re recent events have pointed to problems of understanding between us and Wales. So we don't like each other now. We hate them. We've just decided we don't like those guys, so we're going to go and kill them. Um, we have a union with the HRE. Let's go. So we have a truce with them. We can go and uh, next turn we'll be at war with them. I think we can attack them now. No, we can't attack them. Next turn we can attack them. Um, there is things in here in our um, 
Like we can see all our rankings here, I mean, regions and all that. We can also see there is a thing with with uh, religion, which I haven't come across yet. Um, so I mean, they're paganism. Um, you guys are orthodoxy. I'm not sure. Maybe that comes into play with rebels. Or is a uh, sultanate or something? Here we go. So we have Islam over this way. I'm assuming that uh, maybe it has something to play into uh, with diplomacy. Um, we don't like uh, Leon either. He's only got one star there. We have zero stars with France. We could probably work our way up with France just to make sure they don't attack us. So let's sort of work our way up to, I don't know, like just basic peace. Spend a little cash. Make them like us more so they don't kill us. Because uh, we're going to stomp whales. Let's spend our money. Let's bring in more archers. Or how about... You know what? Let's bring in um, some of these some of these reinforcements. These things seem, seem okay. 176. We're just bringing like 100 of them. And um, a few more trebuchets, I think. There we go. Okay, next turn. Okay. France, we're now at peace. Us and Wales... We hate each other. There's the red line. Red line means war. Okay, so we're now at war with Wales. We can attack them. Let's do it. Let's raise an army first. Get research and all that stuff done. Let's, uh, let's see here. There is a new unit here. We can grab this one, which gives us uh, the ability to research gunpowder, which gives us musketmen or, um, and, and cannons. Uh, it calls them forts. I think it means cannons. Let's go here. Um, let's see. This is going to be in early access when it first uh, comes out June 1st. Uh, I'm playing this a day early. Um... And still, I've noticed there's a few, uh, a few um, uh, translation things that aren't quite there yet. Uh, let's go with, uh, let's upgrade the little cavalry. We got a lot of militiamen, let's upgrade them. Make them better. Um, grab some of that. And we can also do assassins, we can like, send the assassin mission, we haven't seen that yet, but we'll see it today. So, let's attack whales. They're pathetic. Rank 34 in units, we got them. Okay, to war. Okay, so here's all the re re units we have. We got nine ships, six thousand militia, one hundred and three re reinforcements. Now the way this works is <clears throat> we don't actually tell them which country to go to. We just say you, you, and you go fight those guys, and they go in. They kind of go behind the scenes, go fight. If they win, they take territories. If they fail, they lose territories. So we can choose what we want to do. We can take them by sea. We can just stomp them on the land or raid, which just hurts their military and doesn't take any territory. We can also send assassins or do a trade blockade if we had that ability. Um, I don't have any assassins. So, let's go into here. Yep, there's some uh, translation things. <laughs> okay, ground assault. Uh, we're going in. We can send what number of, of our army we want to send in. Now, we want to make sure we keep some people behind. Otherwise, they're going to attack us and, and uh, you know, take our people. Um, we do have money still, though. So, I'm thinking, I'm thinking we just send them all in. 90%. I want everyone in there. Go stomp whales. Okay, so this is all we have. All we have left is, is a pathetic army. Units in campaign. Here we go. We got 6,000. This is all. It's, it's marching west into Wales. So we still have 100 grand. Let's go make sure we build up a bit of an army here. Uh, it's, um, they have mostly infantry, right? So let's go raise some of these guys. Um, uh, do we want to take from a population? Yeah, I guess it's fine. It's fine. So let's bring in some infantry. We can hire them all like this way. Like that. Okay. So that'll give us a little more of a a buffer, I suppose. Okay. Next turn. Good. We can actually take a look at them. Uh, actually, I'm out of cash, so I can't really take a look at them to see what they, uh, how their army is looking at, how his army is looking now, but I'm pretty sure they're pretty bad because we can see that their unit rank is 34 and ours is 6. There we go. First fight. Your army demonstrated its military power by successfully capturing territory in Wales. There we go. Report. We lost a few militiamen. We don't care about them. We lost a few folks... But we stomped them. They didn't lose really anybody. Um, however, we now own a part of Wales. They only have just is it just one more? Did we take two or one out of that? Uh, just one. We gained one territory out of that battle. So now my army is still out there. Uh, we see it in in here in headquarters. Units in campaign. They're still out there marching into Wales. I still have all my units behind. We can send more folks out if we want to go by like a seaborne attack. If we want to hit Leon, which we might be our next next stop down there. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and make them angry. Where are they? There they are, the yellow guys here. So, um, let's work our way down to war with these guys. How are they? 15. So they're a bit tougher. So we'll have to see if we can figure out a way of uh, stomping them. Let me go uh, research another spy. 
so that I can um, hit them. Seaborne Assault. Yeah, we want we want more of that because we're going to go do that because we have to go by sea. We have to buy some boats also. So let me go and I need a few units just to make sure we don't get hit by whales here, which I don't think is going to happen. But we'll hire some of that and let's hire some ships. Okay, we got 90 ships now. Okay, next turn. Demonstrated your military power by successfully capturing mil uh, territory in Wales. Wales is dead. I think. We lost 400 militiamen. But Wales is no more. Hooray! Okay. We're supposed to be going and taking the whole the whole uh, continent here. It's like uh, Leon and uh, the Caliphate is uh, is going out of this here. He's the red line of war. So we don't like them. Let's try. I kind of want to. I kind of want to walk into Scotland. They're pretty tough, though. How was how was Ireland? Ireland's terrible. Yeah, yeah, we can take that. Let's go work our way down with them too. They like us. We don't like them. Okay. Uh, we'll make friends with Denmark. Work that up. Sure. Um, and we'll make friends with uh, with Norway here. Norway and England have a history. Let's make them happy. Um. And let's go and see about... We're not at war with them yet, so we can't do anything yet. But we can go ahead and keep hiring ships. We could also just buy them. It's so expensive, though. 1500 versus 990 Yeah, we're just going to buy them this way. Okay, next turn. Uh, looks like um, us and Leon don't like each other. And we have... Um, oh, yeah. Ireland is going down also. So, let me go and... There are no enemies at the moment. Oh. Oh, Leon? Oh, did we go to war with him? Oh, we did. Okay. Um, so, if we want to go and fight these guys now. This way. The only way of getting to them is going to be by sea. Because they're across the ocean, obviously. Um, I got 200 ships. Let's bring in a few more of a few things. Let's just, let's just sort of pad our numbers all around. Like that. Okay. Uh, let's go into diplomacy, not diplomacy, into research, make sure we learn how to do, increases the number of naval units you can send for a naval attack. We want that, I think. Bump that up, and let's bump up, um, just free trebuchets to get recruited every turn? Oh, we should do that. Uh, there's nothing free unit recruitment. Yeah, so this is, we just gain people every turn. That's what we should do. Um, there's the assassin, we can learn how to do that also. Um. So, let's see here with you. Um, I sent a spy over there. Do I have a second spy? I do. There's a spy over that way. We can go see our spies over here in Recon. We got... All our spies are out, because Wales is gone. Um, I don't need money left, so we can't see much. But we can see how pitiful their armies are. Pitiful! Uh, France's army is pitiful as well, apparently. We're friends with them now, though. We can see everyone's ranking here also. We're level 7 in, uh, in Army 3 in Economy... Um, oh, France is level one army. Why does it say, why is there two notches as if they're bad? There's only two stars there. Hmm. Um, okay. Um, let's go do a seaborne attack, I guess. With Leon. Not you. You. Um, that's Portugal. Not Portugal. I went with, uh, with you. Yeah. At war. Um... We have to go in here to, I think, Headquarters and then uh, Seaborn. Yeah, Send Unit Seaborn. So we're going to go to Leon. They're also at war with uh, the Caliphate we saw. Uh, so we're going to do a Seaborn Assault. And we're going to send in a percentage of our troops. We're going to do so much because we have uh, the, our Seaborn tech isn't that good. So let's send in 18%, as much as we can, to go hit Leon. Which isn't a bunch. we got a, a few folks, but, so we probably get stomped here. But we'll just see what happens. Conducted a successful seaborne operation in Leon, inflicting a crushing strike to enemy positions. Excellent. 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 I played my previous game I did here. I got I got rocked. <laughs> so I'm doing something right here. Uh, okay, so we we made landfall. So now it's time to stomp them properly. So now I think we can do a landborne attack. Let's just crank up the militiamen. 14,000 militiamen. Everyone grab your pitchforks. It's time for Spain killing. Um, let's see, that's all good. Let's go get some research here and increase trade. Sure. I want the free units, actually. More free units. 
Secret Police, I think, puts down rebellions if you ever have that as a problem. Do we have rebellion as a problem? 274,000 rebellion. What? Rebels don't pay taxes. Well, put them down. All right, let's see here. We want to go into a... Um, these guys are at Seaborn. We don't need this anymore. We should be able to do a landborn attack now. So let's yank them out of there. And go into a landborn attack. We're going to hit Leon. Ground attack. We're sending them all in. 90, 90%. If they attack me, we're probably going to lose, but we're going to go in. Okay. Next turn. Or if we get attacked by someone else, it'll be real bad. But we uh, we did it. We took a territory in Leon. Excellent. Okay. There we go. We have Ireland over here to deal with as well. <clears throat> um, let me see about raising up. Let's just um, raise up whatever kind of army we can here. We got a bit of money. 12 more thousand. Bring in just militia. There we go. Okay, so we got some a bit of defense. Um, we're making a lot of money from the people that we're bringing in. We are losing money from war. Of course, those rebels are a problem. We can deal with the rebels by learning how to do uh, this. Capturing new territories will be fewer rebels by 1%. Seems good. Secret police. Um, I'm not sure where, where, where free recruitment plus one. Secret police per turn. Let's see what that is. We'll try the assassins out also. Diplomacy. Uh, oh, we can do by two levels per turn if we put money into that one. Oh, okay, okay. Um, let's put these rebels down. Probably the best one probably to do early on is going to be population. Population and taxes. If we were wise, but we're looking to kill things. So it's like, um, who's that? Castile is fighting the Caliphate also, who's getting pushed back. Um, that's probably why we won this fight, because I bet you all of Leon's armies are in um, southern Spain there. Okay, uh, next turn. We've taken another territory. Excellent. Uh, we really don't like Ireland now. We're down to truce level. So once we get our army built up again, we can go marching over that way also. Let's let's build in some of those. We can... Uh, you know what? Let's go spy on them. I know we have one already. On Ireland here. Let's see what they've got. They have 10,000 militia. Oh my. What's good at killing militia? I think archers are. If I remember right. Is it in here? Archers are excellent at killing militiamen. Archers mow them down. Okay. So let's make ourselves some archers. Now can I go to war with... Not yet. We can just do a raid. A raid, like I mentioned before, we just um, kill some of their units. Box the enemy's trade income from their allies without common borders. How's that? Let's try that. Um, send in, I don't know, what's it, 30%? Of our ships, I think is what that is. Let's see what happens. I haven't tried that yet. Next turn. Um, let's see. We took Leon. Your fleet, your fleet defeated the ships of the country, Kanak. Thus you have achieved trade blockade of that country. Okay. We seem to have made... We still have truce with them. Did we get a truce with... Uh, I think we did, but they're on the other side. So we've been sort of blocked off here. Um, that's fine. Let's see. We let's let's crank up more archers, more archers. We're marching in to Ireland. No, no, no war. We want to fight. We want to go headquarters, landborn campaign. We're going into Ireland. I can't because apparently we're not at war yet. We gotta go to war with these guys. Um, let's see. Could march into France. Oh, send this. let's send some assassins to France. Let's see what that does. We're gonna send... How many assassins do I have? I have 11. Send them all in. Let's see what they do. Assassins quietly cut most of the troops of France. Successfully vanquished, uh, vanished into the night. They be, uh, relations become more strained. I don't know why. Excellent. So how much, I'm not sure how much of the army we killed, but we they're still number one in units, though. So they're still pretty powerful. But apparently we killed a few of them in the night. All right. Uh, are we at war yet? Yes. War. Okay. Let's attack. We're going landborn assault. Um, oh, these are the, my folks that are doing the uh, the blockades. Fine. Uh, we're going to go landborn assault into here. Ground assault is what we're going to do. We're sending everybody in. Let's go. Archers. Yeah, yeah. We're going to mow them down with those archers. 
demonstrated its might against Kanata. We haven't lost a fight yet. I lost like every fight I did before my previous game. Okay, there we go. Um, I'm just gonna keep on just letting this roll until we take out, take him out. Yeah, there we go. Next. Okay. We want. Um, no, what cessation? No, no, no. We want to fight them. I think they can spend their points also to like you know try to get peace with us, but we want to make sure that's not happening because we want to kill them. Uh, I want research. I'm gonna put it into my archers. All in the archers. Okay, let's mow these guys down. And we have a lot of money we can spend. Let's just buy a bunch of, I don't know, that. Maybe a few more ships. And maybe a whole bunch of archers. Here we go. We got 12,000 archers now. Most of them are just sitting back home. But we can reinforce this, though. Uh, actually, I guess they came back because we got peace. So let's go back. All right, there's no winning campaign. Yeah, yeah. Let's go back to here. Ground assault. We're sending everybody in. Let's be mine. There we go. Excellent. Next turn. And Ireland is now mine. Okay. Perfect. All right. Well, there we go. So there, there's generals and rulers. It's out today, June 1st. It's in early access. I believe it's $12. Um, I'll put a link below and you can check it all out. Thanks again for watching. Thanks again for Hamsters Gaming for uh, sponsoring this video. And I'll see you all next time.